Hey guys, how do you do? Welcome to the show program with Users TV. Here we're going to see how to work with your custom list view with images and text. This is a marine Android tutorial. Who you can see right here we have uh, this list view, of course, with images and text. Okay, if you click a single list view, we're also able to get uh, the item that's been clicked. This is our tutorial right here. We're going to see how we can customize, of course, a list view and show images and text so it's this simple this is what we're gonna look at join us we get started so the first step is to fire up your visual studio of course once you fire it up this is a marine android tutorial so go ahead inside choose the android blank app then click ok this is going to create for us a blank project then of course once we have that one let's come right here to our resources and make sure uh, we add some stuff before we move to our c-sharp code okay so first we're going to have a couple of drawables or images uh, right here you can see these are my images that have added right you can see uh, they are preview uh, right here these are the images that have actually added so go ahead and images to a drop these are the images we're going to use right so we're going to upload this project you can also obtain those particular images now also come to the layout right here so in the layout of course by default main.xml is going to uh when, when you create a project is going to be created by of course visual studio okay then of course we're also going to add another model.xml now before we come to that one let's come here and then explore our main.xml main.xml this is the file that's going to actually get inflated to our main activity right for now android so this is our main activity layout what we're going to do we're just making sure adding just some custom stuff i've changed the background then of course the list view right here this is a list view we've added a list view because this is a list view tutorial we're going to be showing creating a custom list view with images and text so let's go ahead add that particular list view okay now the second layout to add a layout right here just right click your layout then of course choose add right here then of course choose new item then of course in the templates we're going to choose android layout so go ahead choose the android layout give it a name click add it's going to add a layout all right so in this case mine is module.xml now this layout right here this is the layout that's going to get inflated to a single list view item right remember a list is going to consist of multiple items or multiple rows so a single row this is its definition we're going to inflate it of course it's a custom list in our case a single row is going to consist of image and text for it so this is the xml definition for that one this is what we're going to inflate uh, to show that custom row that we want in our list view i've changed the background color right here then of course linear load this is my root load inside it i also have another linear load so we're going to have its orientation is of course vertical okay so it's going to show right here an image so we have right here of course uh image view okay then of course we give it an id then we give it a drawable right here then of course a linear layout right here inside it then we're going to have its orientation is now vertical so you can add uh, some text views right here so first we're going to have the name txt which is our text view okay so name txt name is going to show us the name right there so guys this is our layout right here we're going to leave the source code below okay so these are resources let's close them and then of course move to our code so what we're going to do we're going to have three classes first of course the main activity which is going to be auto generated by our visual studio who's going to have the adapter class then of course our spacecrafts okay class so let's go ahead start with the spacecraft to add it to our project just right click then go come over to add then choose new class of course give it a class right there then let's see yes, then add it now this is a class it's our data object right here you can see we're going to have two uh, variables right here two properties the name as well as the image okay so 
in our constructor we're going to take the name and the image then of course you assign them to this now if you call the name property we're going to return the name if you call the image property we're going to return the image all right so these are POCO class all right so we just have it as a data object to represent a single spacecraft with its properties next come right click then add another class in this case uh, name it whatever you like for me it's custom adapter with CS right it's our adapter class so this is the class that's going to adapt our data of course to our views or oh, is going to adapt our views of course to our data so custom adapter is going to derive from the base adapter then of course we have these uh, instance fields right here of course context object see then java list java list is of course is a list of spacecrafts right then of course layout inflator inflator right here we just declare them over there then of course we're going to come this is our constructor so if you instantiate this particular class will require you to pass as a context object as well as a java list object right java list is of course just a like an array list is just a collection right here so java list of type spacecraft generic type spacecraft we're going to call it spacecraft so this dot c we assign it to a context object whatever you've passed us then of course spacecraft you've passed us we're going to assign it to a spacecraft right here so that's how we're going to retrieve the two objects to this particular class then of course get item object these are methods that of course if you create your base if you derive from the base adapter you'll have to override a couple of methods including the get item the get item id get view and then of course are uh, the total count right here okay the count so get object you no know, get item right here it's returning for other object now take note in our imports over right here we're using the java.lang okay so this is java.lang.object that you're using so right here uh we'll be returning it get item you pass us the position of that particular object then of course we return to you from our spacecrafts which is our collection so spacecrafts.get position is going to return for us a single spacecraft which is in this case of course is our object what about the item id of course along get item id you pass us the position now we're going to use the position of course as our item id or it as the spacecraft id what about get view get view is going to return for us the inflated view or it the view it's going to return for us a single row for the list view so the custom row right here so a uh, public override view get view you're passing us the position of the item then of course a view object right here convert view then view group which is the parent so first we're going to check inflator object our left inflator object if it's equal to null then of course we're going to initialize it see we initialize it of course from our context so context dot get system service context with layout inflator service we cast it to layout inflator this is going to give us a layout inflator object which you can use to inflate our module XML, of course into a view object and return it so next we're going to check of course our convert view which is our view object okay so if convert view equal to null right if it's equal to null then we're going to inflate it now inflation this is an expensive process so remember this method the get view is going to be called multiple times okay it's going to be called multiple times uh, depending on the of course number of rows that you have for instance if you have like 10 rows it's going to be called uh, that number of times so if convert view equal to null so because inflation is an expensive process we just want to call it once and then of course reuse uh, that particular object okay so come right here if convert view equal to null convert view equal to inflator dot inflate resource dot layout dot model right here then of course parent which is our view group then of course we pass in the boolean false so this is going to give us a view object which we are going to be reusing instead of inflating it for each particular row all right so 
once you have that one then of course we're going to have this custom adapter view holder now these are custom class we're creating let's go ahead create it right here uh, below our custom adapter so custom adapter view holder extends object then public text view name txt image view of course these are the views that we're going to be reusing of in our of course uh, convert view okay the view that's going to get inflated so public convert view in the constructor you're going to pass us that convert view which is our item view then we use it to reference these two views right here so name txt for instance equal to item view define view by id generic type text view resource dot id dot name txt item view define view by id generic type image view resource dot id dot spacecraft image that's our view holder class is going to hold of course the views that we're going to be uh, reusing okay so we come of course it's taking in the convert view as our item view then with our object initializer we're going to initialize our name txt so name txt equal to text equal to spacecraft's position dot name we are assigning the name the spacecraft to our name txt then holder dot image add set image resource right here we call the set image resource then of course we pass in a spacecraft's dot image okay we get the spacecraft then of course we get its image we pass it there if you want to set the background color you can use this method set background color to set the background color for each that particular row so if convert view no return convert view okay we're returning the inflated view of course uh, which is going to represent a single row in a list view then the total number of spacecrafts these are method overriding count these are property overriding okay count get return spacecraft says we're going to use the total size of spacecrafts as the count over there so this is our adapter class it's our custom adapter class is going to adapt our views of course to our data so that's it let's move over to our main activity so the main activity is simple first it's deriving of course from our main from activity so we come we're going to have declarations right here list view lv custom adapter adapter then of course java list spacecrafts on create method this method is going to get called when our view is created so we're going to call set content view this is going to inflate this method is going to inflate our main.xml of course and set it as a view for our for this particular activity then we're going to initialize our list view find view by id resource.id.lv we're referencing our list view of course from our layout then adapter we instantiate our custom adapter adapter equal to new custom adapter we pass in the context which is this so this then of course get spacecrafts get spacecrafts this is going to return for us the spacecrafts okay it's a method we're going to define in a short while then lv.adapter equal to adapt now before we come to that one let's come look at our get spacecrafts right here you can see it's returning for us a java list we shall get passed of course to our adapter so spacecrafts equal to new java list spacecraft so spacecraft s s equal to new spacecraft enterprise this is the name then of course the image resource the drawable dot enterprise this the image spacecrafts dot add s we add our spacecraft yes of course to our spacecrafts collection now we're going to do the same for all for Hubble, for kepler spisa all of them we're going to repeat that particular process reinstantiating our spacecraft then of course I'm making sure that we add them to our collection at the end of the day we're going to return that collection which of course is our java list our spacecrafts all right so once we return it of course it's going to get passed to our adapter now lv.adapter equal to new adapter equal to adapter we assign our adapter custom adapter object as the adapter property of our list view then what about the item clicks how do we handle the list view item clicks come right here lv.item click then plus equal to then you press your shift no your tab key twice okay let me repeat that one 
type lv dot item click then plus then equal then of course you press the tab key twice is going to generate for us our item click handler right here our event handler okay so come right here let's handle our list view item click so void every item click of course it's taking in an event args object as well as our sender so if clicked what are you going to do well we're going to show a toast message so toast with make text this this is the of course context we inside our main activity so we just pass this then of course we pass in uh, right here the name we're going to get the name now spacecrafts e dot position dot name for it we get this current spacecraft the space that has been clicked we get its name then toast length dot short right here we're going to show it for a short while then we call the show method that's it that's how we're going to handle our item clicks all right so that's it guys that's it that's our code uh, right there you guys make sure i'm uh, going to leave the source code of course uh, below so download it of course import it to your visual studio okay otherwise make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet programming wizards tv also like the video share it and make sure you check our website camposha.info otherwise take care i'll catch you in the next class